Tonight, we have a better idea of how dire the situation was as Tropical Storm Harvey rained down on southeast Texas, causing historic flooding. KFDM's Angel San Juan obtained 911 recordings, some of very desperate calls as the water rose, and the police for help overwhelmed Port Arthur's 911 system. He joins us in the studio tonight. Angel? Tiffany, Port Arthur's public information officer tells us the dispatch center has six 911 lines. If a seventh call comes in, it rolls over to Central Dispatch in Nederland, which has five 911 stations. If there's an overflow, next stop, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. But when Harvey hit, thousands of 911 calls were coming in and overloading the system, causing many calls to go unanswered in Port Arthur. It's a calm morning inside the dispatch center at the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office very different from two and a half months ago. When dispatchers faced a flood of 911 calls as high water from Tropical Storm Harvey invaded Southeast Texas homes. The phones were relentless. We answered phones all day, continuously. Once you hung up from another one call, another one was coming in. Most from Port Arthur. They were calling Port Arthur. Nobody was answering. What city now? Port Arthur, Texas. Okay, um, you rolled over to Jefferson County. They weren't getting an answer, you know, so all their calls were coming over here. We have about two feet of water in our house and it's steadily rising. Call 983 8700. I believe he already did. Every time we call, they keep hanging up. This is Beaumont, so I have no idea. You know, they, I know that they're really busy with the water rescues. All I can ask you to do is continue to try. Kim Collins is Jefferson County's dispatch supervisor. She quickly realized something was wrong with Port Arthur's 911 system, and the calls from Port Arthur citizens and families trapped in their flooded homes were unanswered. I've been calling since last night. Uh, yes, ma'am, and so has everyone else. It was sad and very overwhelming. You know, our hearts went out because we didn't know how we were gonna get people to them. We were trying, we were dispatching calls to our officers that were out there trying to get them help. 911, what is the emergency? We're underwater over here at South Coast House and Apartments. We've been calling since last night to try to get a, a water rescue. We had to go upstairs because the water come up to our chest. Social media complicated the situation. Family members would post on Facebook their concerns about loved ones in Port Arthur. Then those posts would get shared, leading to multiple people calling 911 for the same person. Even operators in Houston were getting the Port Arthur calls, and those dispatchers would end up calling Jefferson County. Hi, this is Jackson. I'm with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. I got a 911 call. It clearly became obvious to Collins and her team, if they could not get the frantic caller's help, who would? My 91-year-old dad is trapped in an apartment in Port Arthur. 911, what is the emergency? Yes, I'm in Port Arthur, and we need to get out of our house. I have my two little grandchildren with me. They're under five, both of them, and I'm disabled. We'll add your name to the list, and all we can do is ask you that you put a white towel, a white pillow, case a white sheet on a door or window to get the attention of officers that may be in that area. My very first phone call was from my co-worker Darcel and that was at 10 something that night on the 29th and her water was rising in her house at that point her her uh, furniture was floating. Darcel Wells is also a Jefferson County dispatcher. She was living in Port Arthur when Harvey hit and she lost everything. The first thing you think is like, it can't be happening. And once my husband really tried to keep the water, he thought it was just some that was coming in. But um, it was just, I'm sorry. Wells and her husband spent eight hours in waist deep water inside their home before they were rescued. Less than two hours later, Wells was here at her station answering calls. I just experienced what they were still experiencing. I was fortunate and blessed enough to get out and they were still there trying to be rescued. So you have to put everything on a back burner and just try to get them the help. 
a sentiment shared by her boss, Sheriff Zena Stevens. Many have praised the sheriff and her staff for their response at a time when Port Arthur officials are facing public criticism. Are there some agencies, I think, that function better than others? Probably. Um, but even the agencies that didn't function very well, Angel, I don't believe people sat there and said, we want people to die. We want people to drown. It's based on lack of experience, you know, lack of resources, and, you know, and those kinds of things. And so I, I tell people, I, I don't focus on all that. I'm focusing on how to prepare for the next bad thing that may happen to us. As we mentioned, many Port Arthur calls rolled over to Central Dispatch in Nederland. To put it all into perspective, Nederland Police Chief Daryl Bush ran some numbers for us. One week before Harvey, Nederland Dispatch answered 99 911 calls. During Harvey, the number of 911 calls shot up to more than 3,000. Reporting in the studio, Angel San Juan, 6 News Tonight.